Lots going on in the weather center on this Monday. We've got a stationary front fueling scattered showers, and I'm also watching Elsa. I'm meteorologist Megan Borowski, and here's a look at our map from a little bit earlier today. Uh, Tropical Storm Elsa moving northward through the island of Cuba, approaching Florida. But today here in North Florida, we've got to deal with some pesky showers uh, thanks to a stationary front nearby. So let me get you through this afternoon. We'll have winds coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. That'll continue to fuel uh, light shower activity. We could get a couple of heavier thunderstorms down toward the Tampa area, the I-4 corridor. Overall, nothing too bad for us here in Gainesville, but it will be a north. It'll also keep those temperatures uh, in the lower 80s this afternoon. Now, more importantly, in the tropics, I am tracking Elsa. Looks like it is going to bring some impacts to North Florida over the next couple of days. Really looks like tomorrow night into Wednesday is when we here in Gainesville will be impacted. By 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm timing out your winds for you. A couple of tropical storm force gusts possible right along the nature coast. That threat moves inland to the I-75 corridor by mid-morning and uh, starts to dwindle as Elsa moves inland, begins to weaken. However, by 9 o'clock on Wednesday, Wednesday night, folks anywhere from Cross City, Lake City, all the way to Tallahassee could still be dealing with tropical storm force wind gusts uh, anywhere from about 39 to 40 miles an hour. Now, let's also talk about rainfall because this is likely where more of us will be impacted. So Tuesday evening, South Florida, uh, the West Coast getting impacted all the way toward the interior peninsula. Elsa continuing to lift northward early on Wednesday. Couple of showers starting to move into the Nature Coast, also to Marion County very early on Wednesday. And then we get in on it uh, mid-morning on Wednesday here in Gainesville. Moderate to heavy rainfall rates continuing throughout the afternoon. We could get a couple of stronger cells moving through Gainesville around lunchtime. Those bands continuing to lift northward. Looks like the heavy rain could still be ongoing by Wednesday evening. So the biggest threat from Elsa is going to be torrential rainfall and local flooding, but we do have that potential for gusts and with soggy ground that could down some trees and power lines. Uh, after that, some lingering showers on Thursday, a slight chance of thunderstorms on Friday into the weekend. But look at that. Your rain chances really start to diminish after Elsa lifts northward.